Hey crafting ladies, I'm Holly Archuleta with Poppy Seed Projects and I am just going to do a couple of videos that will be a Crafting 101 series. And it is just going to go over the very basics of um, how to craft, craft, mostly with wood crafts. Um, so today I'm going to just go over the basics of painting, but also um, show you some tips and tricks, or not show you because I don't want to spray paint in the house, but to just talk you through some tips and tricks with spray painting. Um, painting has got to be probably one of the easiest parts of any craft project. The number one thing that I've seen people make mistakes with when I've taught classes is you want to make sure that you do not have too much paint on your brush. You just need to do a real light coating on your project. Um, and the trick is don't try to pile it all on. Go ahead and put on a nice, I mean you can do it fairly heavy, especially on MDF and pine. Um, but you don't want to be able to see streaks. Um, your paint shouldn't be so thick that you can have actual texture to it. Um, so you're just going to go ahead and just stroke it on. Um, usually you want to make sure you're kind of going in the same direction. That will give you a little bit of a smoother finish. Um, people always ask about what type of paint you need to use. Um, you can use any acrylic based paint. A lot of times if I have a paint color that I've used for a house, for a bedroom, I will use it on craft projects. Um, but it doesn't need to be anything thin, fancy. Um, I am a big fan of the Martha Stewart line. I think those, they have some really cute colors, especially if you're looking for some cute blues. You can do a clear finish spray at the end of the craft project. It's not necessary. Um, it's more just to give it kind of a finished look or to preserve it. Maybe if you're hanging it on your front door, that's kind of a good idea. But it's not something that you absolutely have to do. Okay, so spray painting. Spray painting on pine is a piece of cake, um, but if you're spray painting on MDF, MDF does not like spray paint. The edges of MDF have been treated, but when you cut it, then you expose the, I don't know what you'd call it, raw material on the MDF, but apparently it's been chemically treated and so it kind of resists the spray paint. So a couple of tricks that I have learned is when you are spray painting, Lift up whatever you're painting and do it directly head on. So take your thing and do it straight so that it's not laying flat like this. You want to hold this up and you want to take, let me remove the lid. You want to take this and you want to be spraying it so it's hitting it directly. And you want to hold it quite a bit closer than you would if you were finishing wood. You can see that um, I'm only about, what, three, four inches away from it. If I was refinishing a piece of furniture, I would want to be way out here. Um, so you're going to be a lot closer. You can put it really thick, especially if it's MDF because it's going to really soak it up super fast. Um, then you want to let it dry. And if you give it some drying time, the wood will soak it in, but it'll also kind of pr put a protective coating on there so that then when you go through and you do your second coat, and you'll see that the wood does not soak up so much of the paint, that it stays on the surface. Um, so other tricks that I've learned with spray paint is um, you always want to shake it beforehand. I know you think that's just something stupid that they put on the label, but it's actually really true. Um, if you don't do that, what you can get is like a dry sputtering, and then it's like it just will spit out, and then it almost just rubs off. It doesn't adhere to the board at all, and that I've messed up quite a few projects doing stupid things like that. Um, Spray paint doesn't like really cold weather. It will be, it'll crackle if it's too cold. Um, sometimes it won't dry correctly. So you want to stay in more of a room temperature area. Heat doesn't affect it so much, but it doesn't like cold. Um, you do also want to, I always take before I spray my project, I would always spray it off to the side of my tarp or whatever I'm spray painting on to make sure that I don't have any of those dry flakes coming out and to make sure that it's been shaped so that the paint colors are actually mixed enough. Um, let's see, I think that's pretty much it for painting. Like I said, painting is the easiest step. Um, if you have any questions about spray painting or painting with acrylic paints, we would love to be able to answer your questions. You can just email me, holly, at theorders at poppyseedprojects.com.